Hello, all you wonderful, 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 and brilliant people. Welcome to another What's in the Vault. Today, we won't be looking at movies or music CDs or books. I grabbed kind of some, I guess you would say, random objects that I just so happen to just kind of have. I don't know exactly what kind of sounds they make, they will make, but due to the fact that I don't really have fingernails to make a fingernail tapping sound, just more of a gripping tapping sound. I got my 3DS stylus to hopefully substitute for that. But let's get started with just, these are just some simple items. A little bit of it is artwork and some of it is just some um, just interesting in my eyes anyways <laughs> this is simply just a little I went to a video game convention here a few months ago and they gave out these to but the VIP passes VIP V V V V V V V V V V V I P It's made of some interesting specific like plastic so I figured I could make some interesting sounds with this Also got a lantern, lantern, however that's pronounced. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can really get that much of a unique sound with this part though. Gaming Expo.
These were just some of the sponsors of the convention. the edges of this has these little ridges from where the actual thing was punched out to the next kind of very weird item. So what you see here is a it's a Super Nintendo cartridge. It's um it's um like a homemade kind of thing. Like it the actual game on here is not really important. It was a gift someone gave me around Christmas time. And, well, it's basically. So there's a form of kind of media on the internet known as creepy pastas. Creepy, creepy, cree, creepy pastas, which they're basically short horror stories that people write and post on the internet. And a lot of times, these creepy pastas, they revolve around some kind of video game or something like haunted video game just to put a just to give an example and that is kind of what the deal is behind this someone wherever they bought this from they personally made and sold one of these basically hacked video games and when I say hacked I mean people went in and like used, th used things out of another video game to kind of put together their own kind of video game and yeah, this It's-a-me 
is based on a video game from a creepypasta story that someone actually made. I played this once. A lot of times these kind of games are just meant just to make the story more engaging. I noticed when I played it, the game really didn't have an end, or I either didn't know what I was doing, I just kind of was going in a loop. Yeah, it's just your kind of standard Super Mario World, kind of, well, game hack, pretty much. And that is the whole deal behind this cartridge. It's just for the novelty. Sorry about that. My bottle of water decided to make some cracking noises. <laughs> Next I have a few different art pieces that were also gifts to me. These two I'm about ready to show you came from the same artist. She sent me a bookmark in the mail that she personally designed. Too much book. The artist is um, you'll be able to find this artist on uh, Deviant Art. She posted some stuff. Her name was Ray Robotnik. 
I believe. She even has a YouTube channel on here. I'm not sure if she's posted on it in a few years though. She was someone that I watched a lot on Twitch. Which she hasn't really done that a whole lot, I don't think, in the last few years either. A little bit easier to grip this next art piece. So Obviously, on the other art piece, this is the same character in a different art style as well. This is actually her own personal original character. She originally designed, I paid her to design me a character as well. And this, I do have um, digital art of that thing, but this is the only kind of physical art I have of what my character was at the time, or you could you could call it like a avatar of some sorts. She laminated this when she sent it out to me. It was for one of my birthdays a few years ago, I believe. Might have been a late gift, I can't really remember. But yeah, she laminated the art piece so it was able to last over the years without any kind of creases or anything. My character in general was, it's kind of like a, a jungle boy, so to speak. I'm not sure really what the outfit was inspired from. I just kind of gave her some basic details about what I wanted. And it, I actually, well, not at the time. I still am pretty into wolves. They're one of my favorite animals. But, I don't know. I was thinking very superhero mindset at the time. She actually also designed a oh, set of weapons for this character. Honestly, to give you guys a more detailed picture of them, 
because like I said, this is a, this is a basic, this is a different art style, so you don't really see the details of the actual character themselves. But I'll, what I will probably do is post uh, my avatar in the thumbnail or something. Yeah, there we go. That will be my thumbnail for this video. Just so you guys can get a good look at it. So this next art piece is just from someone I personally know. So she was able, she drew me this, she used crayons. And I automatically wanted to put it in some kind of casing because I know, I know if I took it as is, it would not last over the years being just a slip of paper so hopefully this does the trick I ended up framing this just to kinda try to keep it protected but yeah she made it personally for me it's kinda her version of the slime from Dragon Quest different art style though The glass is actually not like real glass, but more of a plastic glass. It's just a cheap uh, picture frame that I got online. Oh, sorry about that. But yeah, this is one of the most standout art pieces that I've seen done kind of with crayon. Really good stuff. Especially shading with crayon and stuff. I know that can be kind of difficult. It would be difficult for me. But... I can only draw like stick figures, so that's the extent of my artistic ability. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, and finally, this is kind of a something I actually bought at that video game convention because a lot of times there were some vendors, 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 vendors that were selling their own personal kind of art that they do and stuff, just little physical art things they make, arts and crafts kind of things. And I picked up this. This is a Dragon Quest slime. It is made specifically out of these little screws and yarn. At least I think that's yarn. Yeah, it's made out of yarn. It's really cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, listening, have a great day, have a great night, have a great sleep, have some great dreams, thank you for watching this episode 
of what's in the vault. Have a great night.